least you will help me, won't you? Okay, year six, here we go. And getting getting all these scraps of paper and I'm getting these bands of Numenor. I probably should send those to um, Black Badges. I'll send them to Phoenix because she's the one who gets all the crafting mats, but I'll wait until my bags are actually full. Well, this is right. All right, let's go. Year seven. Who is it? Of course it's going to be Pippin. Oh, we get to steal some mushrooms. Look down the well. I did not... When I was unlocking things, I did not jump down the well. So we're going to do that too. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. So the closest one is the Great Smeals. I have another very salty beef stick. I missed the door. You long thought that Will Wheatley and Archit intro. Oh, right. Will Wheatley. Uh, yeah. No, also because of, you know, from the old Usenet group, Alt, Wesley Crusher, die, die, die. I could see that. This is one of the ones that has more remembrances than you actually need. <laughs> Being a butter has a, is its own word. Doesn't hurt when talking to the ladies either. Mm hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> For those who might watch this later on YouTube, uh, my friend Monith Lair says, Tookland, home to the great Smeals, the average Smeals, and the Smeals rated no stars on Airbnb. <laughs> what does this particular fox think? We do not know.
Except there should be a fox over here, all right? Where the elf camp is. But no, that fox will do. always wondered about these mushroom tents. Is this the kind of structure that you'd use to build mu or to grow mushrooms? I would think that you would want some place that's out of sunlight. Rather than some place that's got like, well, very holy, very coarse cloth there with low thread count. dead spire so we're gonna go we're gonna go around the forest gonna ride our way i'm actually going to follow the same path that the nazgul did or i could just jump in the river i think i'll just jump in the river actually Wee! Because it really will take 20 miles to get up there and get all the way around. It's kind of one thing that has made me sad is that... As a game design choice, they have never embraced putting, making anything underwater look like actual underwater stuff. Like, they don't decorate. Uh, why am I going this way? I don't want to go through. This time I don't want to go through the old forest. I just want to go through the path up here. Is how they don't, because of course there isn't a, um... A swimming mechanic like in uh, DDO. Like in DDO, you can drown. You can do all kinds of swimming. Um, and so the game is built for that sort of thing. Not, I mean, they, they generally only do it for the quests where you have to do swimming, but for the most part, you know, their underwater stuff looks like there's stuff in the water. It's one of the few things that kind of messes with my immersion. It's like, I want to see plant life. And I can understand, I, I, Scenario has meant, has talked about this a little bit on his streams. And to be fair, it, it's like, well, if they can put the time and effort to do that, um, that's time they could probably do something else instead. So it is, in this case, a little bit of a zero-sum equation. Um, and ultimately, he also said that, well... If you're not actually doing any swimming, you're not actually going to be able to to look very much un at anything underwater. There's nothing we're really going to put down there that you need to be able to swim in. Then there's no real point in mobile. And I, I get that, but it's still kind of like, you know what? I want to see plant life underwater. But I think the other one was, ah, so you lazy person. You and your crew are lazy. Um, is There's also the concern that it would be performant. It would, it, that the game's performance would tank because of it. It's like, fair. There's not much you can do about that, right? <whistles> A southern harridan. Wait a minute. Have they gone, did they go too far? I don't think so. <coughs> it's like, where is the main path under the... Oh, here it is. Durr. Alright. Shh. 
It's creepy! Remember back in the day, for those of you who have played Locho, like, as long as I have, remember how they didn't have that little camp off to the side where you could pick up the bounties? Where if you needed to do the, the Shield Brother quest, you had to actually go to the place in Bree at night. And it was only available at night. And you could only turn it in at night. And then you had a time of it. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, it's almost daytime, what the hell do I do? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! And you'd have to, like, rush, and then you'd have that one time you were doing the quest, and it went from before dawn to actual dawn, just as you were about to turn the quest in. And you're like, fuck. That has happened to me uh, on a couple of occasions, actually. A number of 17 years that they might have exterior walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Though, this game really has done very well for itself considering its age. The age of the engine and the age of the hardware. And the size of the dev team. And of course I can't reveal the size of the dev team. It should be more or less the same as the last time I w had the privilege of being able to visit the office. Oh. People are actually back here now. So I guess the belly gear thing is over. So I know some people here. Who's actually playing? Oh, the country blue guy. Dolan's band is playing. Okay. The court is not short. Alright, we need to enjoy a meal here. What are you doing here? A hearty meal. A hearty meal. <coughs> he doesn't quite resemble a hobbit. Somebody I know in the channel might. And if my sister were here, I would say that she's a hobbit as well. She is my half-sister, so that makes her my half-ling I think that makes her my half-ling sister. All right, we need to go to Rivendell next. So we'll go to the Stable Master. Because there are some photos recently from PAX East where somebody said cord was short. The problem is... Everybody looks short if you're standing next to Severlin. Severlin's a tall dude. He's a beanpole. Also a really cool dude. Him and his brother actually wrote a novel uh, called Folklore. I think it was called. Um, it was really fascinating. And his brother apparently is one of the producers uh Props to Oak here for getting the name, actually getting the name Oak. Um, but his brother John is the um, one of the producers of a show um, being sponsored by or run like an official D and D show called Faster Purple Worm Kill Kill. Yeah, I did see that uh, workable tabletop in twelve tweets. I did see that actually. But, um, <clears throat> there is one episode, uh, it was the going into a haunted house episode. I think it was episode 11, episode 17, something like that, um, in this first season that Severlin was the DM. 
And apparently his brother is one of the house DMs for the show. Uh, but you can find it on, um, like, Amazon Prime. How can I be of service? Or if you wait a little, like, a couple weeks, they put it up on Plex. And the downside of Plex is uh, it really wants you to buy a subscription to that service. Because otherwise it'll throw, like, 5 billion ads at you. You think Twitch ads are bad? Holy shit. Plex is horrible about that. Hall of Fire. Let's go back to the Hall of Fire. What can I do for you? The holler. I'm gonna go to the holler where there's a moonshine. Not that kind of holler. <clears throat> but yeah, Cord is definitely not a short dude. He's like average height. Um. You know, the one weird height differential that blew my damn mind at one point. So, Monothlair, I know you will appreciate this. I once got to meet David Gilmore. He is an inch shorter than I am. How? How is that man shorter than me? I didn't really, like, get to talk to him, like, good and proper. Um, because... Um... Back in 2007, when he did the Remember the Night tour... Remember that night tour. Um, he did two streams of a thing. Hall of Fire this way. One was in a theater. Um, was the Leicester Square Odeon movie theater. Because these are both movie theaters. Um, and that one is really cool. Because that's where I met Guy Pratt for the first time. Uh, and I also got to say hi to Gerald Scarf. And I saw Robert Plant wandering around inside. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, that's Robert Plant. Holy crap. <clears throat> and... <sighs> and I also saw Rick Wright was hanging out. Uh, there was a, there's a balcony at the Leicester Square Odeon. At least there was back then. And uh, I saw a guy up there and was shooting the breeze with Rick Wright. Uh, who at the time was his father-in-law. All right. Time for feasting and merrymaking. All right. Moria. Worthong Stone. Um... Okay, I think I want to go to Galtrev to get to Grimbold's camp from Galtrev. This is why I went to Galtrev yesterday. Um, and then we'll go to Moria. Okay, Galtrev it is. Galtrev via the house midjigger. Nobody has a cooler father-in-law story than David Tennant, though. This is true. I love the romance between David Tennant and his missus, Georgia. Because they're just so cute. So cute. And then David Tennant's bromance with Michael Sheen. Holy fuck. That's just like... That happened. It's like, they're besties. And, like, <clears throat> you know, George is involved in all of their shenanigans half the time as well. And uh, it, it's so much fun to watch them. Okay, we are going to go to, uh, where was I saying we're going? Um, Galtrev. How can I be of service? One to Galtrev, and then we can use that to get to Grimbold's camp. And Grimbold's is close to that, remember, uh, to the Orthox Stone. The Upqui Rod requires us to give welcome to Devodiad. Mm hmm.
I love apples. Um, I did go the wrong way. This one was originally difficult to find when I was just looking for it. I wasn't actually, like, using the wiki to find it. And what I don't understand is why it's here. And you notice they are on the same timer? That's the blue orb emote that you get on every character once you get, I think, nine years? He held his eyes and he could not look away. Alright, let's get back to the house. And we're going to go to Moria. We're going to throw ourselves into the well. Because I haven't done that yet on this character, so I might as well get that uh, completed when I do this. Oh, I did get the tabletop die. It's a glass D20 with sharp edges. Thank you to the generosity of all y'all. Kevin being the one to completely destroy that goal. And it wasn't like a goal like, oh my god, let's do this so I can get this thing. Because it's not about me. But, you know, Extra Life does reward folks uh, for participating in this fashion. So, I appreciate the assistance. I still have the set. They One year in August, they gave away a whole freaking set of um, dice, and they were gorgeous. And a little, a little dice coffin, I guess, a dice container. And um, it has these little LED lights in it, so I just keep it closed. Okay. We are going to the fur the twenty first hall. Greetings, friend. Twenty first, twenty first, go there, twenty first. Now I don't think I can. I sh well, I can't remember if I have to unlock a story to do it. What do you mean? I just discovered the twenty first hall. What the hell are you talking about? <clears throat> okay. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. Okay, so I can't do swift travel until I do the actual quest. What the hell ever. I will just go do the Dolvin view and just ride up there. It'll be fine. It'll be great. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. May Durin return soon to his halls. Well, technically, the, the goat, the stable mount, will get me there faster. One thing I have noticed, especially in Moriel, is that I will probably puke if I let the, sta the actual stable goat do this. Because, yeah, I, I want to control my descent, if, if that is okay with everybody. And again, we're not in a rush. We're not trying to beat some kind of speed speed running timer or anything like that. Though that might be fun to actually challenge myself next year to see how long it took me to get through it this year. How long the stream, you know, was. Including begin intro and outro. And then how long I can do it next year. Because I got still more characters that can run this thing, so I'm just saying.
even five dollar can help the cause. Ten dollar, twenty dollar. Anything that you could possibly spare. And, and many of you here watching have been super duper generous already. Always appreciated. All right. <clears throat> Let's look down the well. And then we're going to jump down the well. Hell yeah. Because this is what you folks live for. This is what you live for. Nothing good could be down there. Let's find out. Are we ready, chat? Are we ready? I want to hear a, a, a chant of jump, jump, jump. Let's go. <clears throat> Should I just... Gal this. <laughs> so, should I run and jump in, or should I just stand on here and then just, like, run and jump, or just flop in? <laughs> I think run and jump. Okay, we'll go run and jump. I have fallen into the well. And I have, as expected, perished. I think I've only survived that once. And there we go. <clears throat> I am actually going to pick up the stable master up here. I mean, might as well, right? Now, if we do this as a speed run, I'd have to set some guidelines. It's like, okay, do I unlock any stable Welcome masters ahead of time? Or do I have all the stable masters unlocked ahead of time? And no, like, I wouldn't actually go to this, do this, unlock the stable master on the way. Okay, we need to go to pre-battle. And to the top of the slide. Why am I going into my mail? Druid, what is wrong with you today? The briefcase does not look like an envelope. A deep well. And well traveled. Ooh, ooh! Speaking of titles, one thing Cordovan did mention is that, that for this year's Extra Life campaign, He's looking at bringing back the sociable and the wise titles that they hadn't been available for several years, and he's going to try and bring them back this year. I got five vulture points. I went to the kinship house. The hell, Jared? That's okay. I mean, we're in we're in Gondor, so that kind of works, right? Gondor has a Jared. Gondor has pretty lighting too. He said this. I thought he said the sociable. I thought he said the sociable and the wise. The wise for sure. Because I remember the one. <clears throat> um, extra life fundraising titles. Um, yeah. The th uh, here are the small folk, the sociable and the wise. Here with small folk was always, has always been there. Um, there's a page that Elda. Put up for that. I'm trying to find the actual page. Here is the game events title page. Um, oh, right. I remember. Guess what, chap? <clears throat> I was the guinea pig for most of the community event titles 
that standing stone created after they were going to take away the way the Weatherstock titles. So standing stone, because uh, I was visiting the office that year, um, and Cordovan showed me the list of the titles they were going to put into the game. Uh, and I think, actually, Harnkeger was on that list. I think, actually, our friend Ponton uh, Finberry is the only player who has a Harnkeger title. I think he's the only one who has one. Or, he should have gotten one, but they never actually enabled it. What can I do for you? Pon if Ponton is here, I am so sorry for opening that particular wound. But, he was supposed to have gotten one, and they never did it. And I kept pestering Cordovan about it, but I don't think he will do it at this point. Um, we need to go to pre-battle. Not after battle. I guess we can't go to pre-battle from here. What the hell? <coughs> I think pre-battle should thoroughly be available to all far-ranging stable masters. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll go to Oscillus and do it that way. But I don't see Celebratory being on that list. F. F's in chat. Celebratory. Yeah, Celebratory is not on that list. I think it's... You get that somewhere else. Oh, you had to become a Facebook fan of Lotro. And it was only available in the anniversary celebration of 2014, so that might be what he was talking about. But I thought Sociable was also one of the ones that wasn't available right now. I, I obviously am wrong. How may I help you, friend? You can stop talking in my one ear. That was so bizarre. I'm so used to that, anyhow. But I like that they're bringing that stuff back out. Sociable might already be back. Hold up. It might, maybe. Um, those who donated five or more to the 2013 or 2014 Extra Life fundraising appeal were granted this title. Available again during the 2023. They brought that one back last year. Sociable came back last year, but the wise and the celebratory hadn't come back. And Cord did say they're supposed to be back this year. I do appreciate that they're willing to bring back stuff like this. I wish they'd get off their ass and bring back stuff that people are clearly wanting and clamoring for, such as the Mordor expansion for real money so they can get the goodies. Or the Ravenloft expansion for the other game so people can get the goodies. And with the DDO one, it's even more important because the teleport items are more useful in DDO than they are in Lotro. Wow. Look at my frame rate. That's actually not bad for Minas Tirith. OG Minas Tirith. Pre battle. Well, let's go talk to Burgle real quick.
Young Master Burgle's a big kid. These are troublesome times indeed. done with year six Baragon, go to the Citadel. This is the Feast Hall. And we're just going in here to look, because... I wanted to show you what it looks like when it's not in use. Still a big honkin' feast hall. I think the other remembrance is actually on the pier itself. <clears throat> Everybody remember how we all got lost? Looking for Roth one up here? Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. I did too. I personally always thought that the tree should have been in the middle of this and the fountain like two smaller fountains would have been over here <clears throat> or maybe three smaller fountains like one here one here one here I always felt the tree should have had center stage
It's very windy up here. Okay, I thought there was one up here. And there is. It's just, I had to wait for it. Don't yeet yourself off the thing yet. <clears throat> Notice the river out in the distance kind of looks like just some random rock. All right, we need to get down fast. Let's get to the slag hills. Stop running for the horse, run for the stable master. Where can we go from here? How may I help you, friend? Where do we go from here? Where do we go? Well, it looks like we're going to Osgiliath. <coughs> okay, let's keep going. Osgiliath! Get exclamation point E L in chat. We'll get you the link to drop a few if you have a few. Of course, do not be irresponsible. Gondor needs your aid. There, there's a running gag in my friend Devilor's channel because um, he's been doing a streamathon that was supposed to be five days long. He's in his fifties now because people just kept throwing stuff at him. <coughs> <clears throat> and thank you, Elda. Hi! And there's one person who had been dropping like 20. And Elda with the resub. Hell yeah. Um, 56 months. Wow, that's almost five years. Shit. Anywho. The running gag in there is that one of the people who These are troubles is a massive indeed. patron patron of their channel <clears throat> must have robbed a few banks. So every time they start rolling in and dropping like you know twenty gift subs, a hundred gift subs, five hundred. One night she dropped like a eleven hundred gift subs. I'm like, how the? F Those are five bucks a piece. Eleven hundred gift subs. That's a shit ton of money. Um, and so we used to make a gag that, uh, she must be robbing banks or something. I do not advocate robbing a bank. No robbing banks on the behalf of the charity. All right, let's go to a slag hill. Pick one. I'll pick this one right here. And we'll complete your six and move on to your seven. You have barbecue brisket, mac and cheese from a new place in town? Hell yeah. Sounds tasty. I've had, I had french fries for breakfast. Um, I was hoping to have eaten them before the stream started. So I've just been snacking the entire stream. Then... Afterwards, apple and beef sticks. I'm not going to show the brand name, but beef sticks. And so that's how I've been handling my, my hunger right now. Just nomming on beef sticks. All right. <clears throat> I might 
I'm gonna ding off of this uh, thing, by the way. Oh, man. This place is so freaking depressing. I can't wait till we go that way. I can't wait till we can go this way. And see what's over this way. <coughs> but it's gonna be some time. It's gonna be some time before we get to go there. Because we gotta go through here first. And just between you, me, and the fact that this is not a spoiler. I want to know where this fucking oasis they're talking about is. Where the elves are. What? Druidsfire is dropping an Umbar spoiler. In the epic story, if you get the twins on board your ship. Going to the shield isles. You get a little side quest in the city from them. Where you get told about some elves and an oasis to the east. And then even if you don't do that, Maid of Lines is sneaky about this. I love this. Is if you then just only, you don't do the optionals, you still get a hint about it. No, they didn't mention anything about Darwinian. Um, well, technically it was lunchtime. At that point, Elda. Uh, but for me, it was li the literal breaking of the fast kind of dealio. <clears throat> and so they've been talking about these elves at the OA. So even if you didn't do the twins optional uh, in the Song of Waves and Wind. Which, if you've completed the Song of Waves and Wind, you can still go back and do the optionals. You can do that. Unless they're bugged out, but... Uh, I've, n I've been able to go back and complete them all um, after the fact. How can I be of service? You can let me go to the party tree, buddy. See, he looks different. He's, he's a different dude on duty. I don't know what his attire kind of reminds me of. It doesn't look real here per se. Oh, hey, we get spam bots going in there. Elda, can you do the honors, please? Thank you. Thank you. Go for three. Come on, go for three. Thank you. <laughs> so that's the fourth people we banned in chat today. And all for the same thing. So I think uh, if you want to, hop on the Moobots and add that name to our list of people names that you can't post in chat that would be amazing and then we never see them again okay party tree let's go it's kind of sad that the bots would you know do that during a, a charity stream because i do have the charity flags uh tags on the stream so but i guess the bots don't pay attention they don't care they don't care <clears throat> So, the last actual good... Hey, it's Kelly! It's Kelly, Wen, and Xavier! I know these people. I'm gonna wave it. Kelly. Because it's Kelly. Alright. And Kelly's like, who the hell is that person? But Kelly should know that my kinship is just pretty much me. 